if you want when motor starter start so this load should start with motor starter and after completing timer time this load should stop automatically and second load should start automatically for controlling to different load according to timer time we need to install this add-on block on delay timer by connecting this add-on block on delay timer we can control to different load according to timer time so let's start video and understand how to install this add-on block on delay timer with dual starter you can see here we have one dual starter we can start this dual starter with the start push button and a stop with the stop push button now we will learn how to install this add-on block on delay timer with this dual starter in this video we learn all about this add-on block on delay timer today we control two load with this add-on block on delay timer you can control any of the single load okay now know more about this add-on block on delay timer so this add-on block on delay timer is made by cnc electric which model number you can see here on your screen in this add-on block on delay timer we have one best function we can control this timer with contactor for connecting this timer to contactor first press this lock button and can connect it with contactor very easily now this timer is connecting with contactor now for removing this timer with contactor first press lock button and can remove very easily this timer timing from 0.1 second to 30 second that means we can control any of the load from timing range from 0.1 second to 30 second now learn how to set timing in this timer okay so for setting timing in this timer we need to rotate this dial okay we just need to rotate this dial for example if you want to set 10 second in this timer so set 10 on top of the timer you can see here now 10 second timing is set in this timer we can control from 10 ampere load with this timer if you have 10 ampere rating load so you can connect load directly with the timer but if you have more than 10 ampere rating load so you just need to connect a contactor and with contactor you can connect a load more than 10 ampere okay now learn a connection of this timer so connection is very simple you can see here 55 and 56 number terminal which is nc point okay when you start your starter and you set 5 second in this timer so for 5 second your 55 supply comes in 56 number terminal that means from nc terminal after completing 5 second your no point will be operate from 67 to 68 that means after 5 second 67 supply comes in 68 number terminal which is no terminal okay in this video for example when we start motor starter and set 5 second in this timer so for first 5 second red light will start and after 5 second or after completing timer time red light will stop and yellow light will blink okay. now for controlling to different load according to timer time you can connect any of the timer you can see here we have two different model on delay timer but in this on delay timer first we need to connect phase and neutral in coil then our timer will operate so for operating this timer first we need to connect coil supply but in this timer we don't need to connect any coil supply for operating this timer because this timer connect with contactor and when contactor operate so our timer will operate so in this timer we don't need to connect any coil supply for operating timer also we don't need any space for installing this timer because this timer will install over contactor so we don't need to connect any coil supply in this timer also don't need any space for install this timer now learn a practical connection with dual starter okay we have one contactor first learn about this contactor for operating contactor we first need to connect a phase and neutral in contactor coil a1 and a2 okay for operating contactor we need to connect a 220 volt ac supply phase and neutral so we can connect a phase and neutral in a1 and a2 terminal or you can connect a neutral here also a2 terminal given here and phase connect in a1 terminal this is contactor power terminal and this is contactor control terminal you can see here 13 and 14 
contactor ano terminal and you can see here we have one nc terminal okay you can see here we have one ano and one nc terminal for control wiring okay now learn a control wiring first we connect a neutral directly to contactor a2 terminal okay now first we made dual starter which is very simple now for phase control wiring we connect one connector from control mcb and connect a stop push button nc element and output of this nc element connect ano element input side okay now when we press this start push button our contactor should start so we connect to one connector here now we connect this connector to contactor a1 terminal okay so neutral connects directly and phase with push button okay now when we press push button contactor will operate you can see here but when we press push button then only contactor operate for operating contactor permanently we first need to provide holding supply okay so for holding supply we can take connector from anc output side or ano input side okay and connect this holding supply from contactor ano terminal okay we will learn all connection practically first we connect one connector from ano input side so just connect one connector here because direct supply comes here and connect this connector to contactor ano terminal okay now we need to connect one connector from contactor coil a1 terminal and connect this connector to contactor ano terminal okay when push button press contactor operate and ano med nc and our starter will hold okay when press start push button starter will start and pressing stop push button starter will stop now fit this add on block timer with contactor first press lock button now fit this add on block timer with motor starter now for checking timer fit properly or not you can press this button it is working properly that means timer fit properly with motor starter okay now for connecting this add on block first we need one connector from contactor a1 terminal and connect this connector from timer common point okay if you want to use only timer single point a no point so just need to connect this supply from 67 number point and if you want to use only nc point so you just need to connect it from 55 which is nc point but in this video we just want to control two load with this timer okay from 55 number point we just want to control this red light which is from nc point and from 68 number which is ano point so from ano point we want to control yellow light okay you can control any of the single load but in this video we just want to control two load okay. now learn a load connection first we need to provide neutral power supply so you can connect a neutral from mcb or contactor a1 terminal but we connect this neutral terminal from mcb so we connect a neutral from mcb you can see here and for phase control wiring first from red light which is for timer nc point so we connect red light phase from timer nc point okay when we start motor starter so for first 5 second red light will start and after completing 5 second ano med nc and supply comes in yellow light okay now connection is now done and remind one thing if your load rating is more than 10 ampere so first need to connect a contactor but our load rating is low so we connect it directly with this timer point okay now we set 5 second timing in this timer okay so set 5 second now control mcb is on when motor starter will start so for first 5 second now motor starter will start so for first 5 second red light will start and after 5 second red light will stop and yellow light will start you can see here when timer timing is complete so second load will operate now see one more time when start push button press first light will blink and after timing complete red light will stop and yellow light will start so you can connect one load or two load with this add on block on delay timer Hope you clear the concept of this add-on block on delay timer. 
if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching